Hello, I hope everyone's doing well. Today, I'm going to do a video I've been putting off doing, but I wanted to do. And that is torpedo bombers. Um, which is best for what circumstances? So there's two types. We have the parallel torpedo bombers and the converging torpedo bombers. I briefly mentioned that parallel are better for mob fights and converging are better for boss fights. Parallel, as the name suggests, shoots a line of torpedoes in a straight line across the screen. They don't move, they don't wiggle, they don't try to go towards a target directly. They'll just continue on forward until they hit something or go across the screen and despawn. Those are better for mob fleets, as you expect, just so you can cover the screen with torpedoes and hit something. Not great for boss fleets because the boss will generally be using moving around and you won't get many torpedoes hitting the boss, if any hit at all. So that's why you don't want to have parallel torps in a boss fleet. You can use them for the lead up to the boss, but for the boss herself, you'll want to have converging torps. Now, most of the planes in the game I've discovered are parallel torps. I went through and checked all of the ones that are purple rarity and above. So I went through individually ones I did not know for sure and checked every single one of these planes up to here. Just so I can be sure and say these ones are this, these ones are that. So planes that are parallel torps is first off the wyvern here this is the best one you have from the gear lab it's very expensive to make you need the fire crest to make it and to get make the fire crest in the gear lab you need what is it called the um blackburn firebrand you get that from the core data shop or you can make that in the gear lab as well and for the wyvern you need Nine UR prints, so that's plain prints, or converting universal prints into plain prints. So that's the best one. It's the hardest to get. It is what it is. And the Firecrest and Blackburn Firebrand are all conversion, uh, not conversion, parallel torps as well. You can tell a plane has parallel torps because it says torpedo common. That means they just go in a straight line. That's a good way to check and know, sure. So all of these, the Sky Pirate, the Avenger, the Devastator, the Barracuda, the Swordfish, the Prototype, Bit 2. This is from either PR5 or an event. I think it's PR5. And the Brigette is from an event. These two are also parallel torpedo bombers. Um, as for ones I'd recommend, I'd say Wyvern is the best. The Firecrest and Blackburn uh, Firebrands are also really good. Just a bit pricey to get. So I would say, honestly, the best one to have, just universal as a basic one, is the Barracuda. Universally good. I have it a bunch of ships. Until I had the Wyverns, I just used these, my parallel torps. As my go-to. Yes, those are an option. Uh, the swordfish that slows also parallel torpedoes. The albacore that middle gets for her uh, bonus skill. Or if it's yeah, she gets a bonus to her skill if she uses that one. Parallel torp, swordfish, same thing. Yeah, those are the parallel torps. Um, I would say as I said, barracuda is probably the best budget option. Obviously, there's purple ones. If they say common, then they'll work. And make sure to check damage. I just like the uh, Barracuda. It's got good stats all around. Nice spread for armor mod. That's really good. Now, on to converging torpedoes. I went through and ran the numbers on them, so okay, I went through and clicked every one of them said, oh, the uh, 
For you, say, with not equipped to anyone, what's its speed? What's its damage? How many torpedoes does it launch? In this case, three. And I just went and checked all of them that way. So I have them in order by damage. And I have some notes on them as well. So, first up, Ryusei. The best one. Really, fairly quick. It does a good chunk of damage. Good armor mods. Three torpedoes. You might see a different one. You recommend it a lot. That is because, and this is, there's a caveat here with converging torps. You want and need to have a ship that can slow the enemy down. Make them stop moving. Talk about Arc Royal, Implacable, Formidable, uh, Aegirth or Torpedoes, Centaur, ships like that that can slow the enemy down, freeze them in place, so your torpedoes can hit. If you have a good slower, the Ryusei is your best option. If you don't have a slower, this torpedo bomber is I have lower on the list in terms of just straight damage is the best because it has two and they're more likely to hit. It has a smaller spread. So you're not missing out on damage. So if well, they're not more likely to hit. If one hit, if only one hits from this, you'll do more damage than if only one hits from a Ryusei. So I should be more specific. Player. So 260 versus 362. That's a lot. But if you have a slower, then the Ryusei does 780 damage with his torpedoes. You know, in fact, in the aviation stat and all that. And the prototype Seonkai, which is better if you don't have a slower. If you have it still and don't have Ryusei's for whatever reason, that's fine. Still definitely use this. This one's from PR4. But the uh, Seonkai is just better overall that I found. I'd like to get a couple of these plus 13 and see how much of a difference it really makes with them without a slower. Not there yet. That's a it's expensive project. I made a few of these, so yeah, so that's one's down lower. The Ryuse number one. And then up next is the Tenzin Kai. You can make this in the gear lab. And this gets turns into the Ryusei. Same stats as Ryusei in terms of torpedoes. But it has a lower aviation stat buff. And its rate of fire is slower. But it is purple. And you can make it fairly easy. It's less costly to make in the gear lab. But you do need access to the gear lab. That means doing a bit of offside. So that is a bit of a step up for a lot of these torpedo bombers. So that's why the Ryusei is better because you can farm it. You can get it from gearboxes, you can get it from PR farming, sort of stuff. And that has the same damage total as Ryusei, but it has less aviation stats, so do less damage overall. Next up is the German Torpedo Bomber. This guy is made in the gear lab. It's decent. The biggest problem I have with it is just making it. Because to get all the prerequisite planes, the only way I found to do it is farming the blue German boxes and then gear labbing them up to get to this plane. So it has a bit less damage on its torpedoes. Uh, it goes up to 762 overall. So, you know, that's a bit of a drop down from the Rusi and Tenzin Kai's 780. So yeah, this one, uh, if the if the ship, like, um, I know Graf Spee, not Graf Spee, that is a uh, heavy cruiser, Graf Zeppelin, wants to have an Iron Blood plane, this is a good option to have. If you're not running anything else, any other Iron Blood planes, if you don't have any, you have the Messerschmitt or whatever, then this is a good option. If you want to run something else in your fighter and dive bomber slot, this is a good option for your bomber for her. I think August von Percival might have a the bar skill. And then next up is the prototype sound Kai. Like I said earlier, if you have a, don't have a slower, it's a lot better. Torpedoes hit harder, just there's one less. 
if it fired three torpedoes, it'd be really, really good. Unfortunately, it doesn't. So you get from PR2, or not PR2, sorry, two torpedoes, you get from PR4. Yeah, so I have that towards the lower end of the list, just because uh, less damage overall. And then, so it's total damage with torpedoes is 720, but it is gold, so you do get that, uh, that full 45 aviation stat. And then lastly is the base Tenzin. This is really easy to get. So when you're starting out, you'll want to get this torpedo bomber. It's uh, really easy to farm. Plenty of stages drop it. The 720 with his torpedoes overall. Good mods. Fairly quick. Yeah, that's, uh, that's it. Torpedo bombers. There's not a lot of converging torpedo bombers. Hopefully we have a there's be a delay for your carriers again. But hopefully we get a good one that has rainbow converging torp here. That'd be really nice for uh, boss fights. But Haku and Shinano and whoever you're running do more damage. But uh, I think that's about it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye bye.